Well, hi again. Welcome to my latest video. This one will be a short one. It's an update to my last video on the 13th and 14th gen corruption problem that Intel has been having. And it was pointed out to me by one of my viewers, O'Brien NYC is the handle he goes by. I'll put up his comment up on the screen here. And he's the one to inform me that there was a new update since the last one that I did. Actually, when I went to look for it after his last message to me, it was actually two updates I was missing. So I'm going to put the latest one in real quick and uh, make sure it still works okay. And then we'll move on from there. So hopefully, you know, this helps some of you out there. I don't know if you've heard about it before. It depends, I guess, on what channels you're listening to in terms of the tech arena. But uh, if it didn't, hopefully it will. So let's get started with that, okay? Okay, I've come into the ASUS uh, website where I can get the latest BIOS from. Hopefully it hasn't changed since I looked at it a few days ago. But if we come in here and we go into support, support drop down, we come on, click on motherboards. My product series is the ASUS ProArt. Skipped by it, there we go, ProArt. I'm going to take the latest model, which is what I have. So the ProArt Z790 Creator Wi-Fi. And that's my motherboard. Let's go here under Drivers and Utility. And then we're going to come down here and take a look. We want BIOS and firmware. And there is now just released not too long ago October 18th just three days ago from the time I'm filming this and that's version 2703 so I can go ahead and download that and now it's downloaded here so what I will do is I will take that and put it onto a stick and we will uh, then load it into the BIOS right on the PC okay Okay, it looks like it might be finally going into the BIOS here. It's forcing me to hit F1 to go into the BIOS because it sees something totally new. Okay. Let me hit F1. So it wants us to go into the BIOS. And if we look here, we'll actually see that it has a new BIOS 2703. XMP got disabled. I'll re-enable that later. There's no rush on that. It does work okay with this memory, which is fine. So then I'm going to come in here and do a save and exit. Make sure that the system comes up. Okay, you told me to go into it though. Sorry, I did it. <laughs> Talking to the BIOS, sorry. Looks like it's rebooting again, probably. It's doing, looks like it's resizing the memory at this moment. I see the, uh, the orange or the amber light on. This time I'll just let it go right into the windows. It's rebooting again, okay. The memory had to be sized, I guess, a second time. Now it's going into Windows. So it's a pretty major change. You log into Windows. Okay, we're in. Let's make sure that uh, basic functions work so let me um, run a PC tool real fast I won't do anything hard at this point I'll do that later and separately let's just take a look at CPU Z And if we go to the main board, we should see the same update in here, 2703-10-17-24. Okay. Let's see, is there anything else I should check real quick? System seems functional. Like I said, I'll run more advanced testing later. Let's do hardware info. We'll do hardware info 64. Make sure that, that comes up. We take a look at all the screens. And 
and there we go. So it seems like it's a nice functional system at this point. CPU voltages and temperatures look fine. Okay, so I just wanted to make sure that it was functional and I'll do some more extensive testing in a little bit. But before I leave, just keep in mind this is an important update because in addition to updating the LED and the ME BIOSes, it also updated the microcode on the CPU. If you read the details that were listed inside uh, the ASUS website when I downloaded it, it actually showed uh, quite a bit of information that's important to understand. And like I said, this is, uh, since that last one that I did, which they thought was going to be the final one, well, they did two more updates. I missed one myself, but thanks to uh, my viewer who uh, keyed me off to it, I was able to uh, catch up.